Whether you prefer body weight exercises for your resistance training or going to the gym and lifting weights, it's good to have a strong grip for all the upper body exercises. That's why in this video, we're gonna look at a couple gadgets that can be used to strengthen your forearms and wrists, and one of those gadgets can easily be made at home, by the way. Then we're gonna look at some pushing exercises that can be done in a progressive manner, as well as some pulling exercises that you can use to build up your grip strength. So let's get started with the gadgets that I like to use. First thing you can do is build a DIY wrist roller. What I recommend doing is getting a length of PVC pipe and then drilling a hole right in the center of the pipe. The drill bit doesn't have to be too large because this is only going to be used to thread some twine through it. So put some twine into the hole and pull it through the pipe. Thread that end of the twine through any kind of small hardware like a nut or a washer. That'll keep it in the pipe, while the other end of the twine you tie around some sort of weighted object. Typically this could be a water jug. If you tie it to the handle on a gallon of water, that's good. But what I'm using here is this old medicine ball that I have in my basement. So then hold the PVC pipe out in front of you at shoulder height, and then start rolling the PVC pipe to wrap the twine around it and bring the weight up towards your hands. Once the weight touches the pipe, now you reverse the rolling, so you're switching from your flexors to your wrist extensors and roll it down to the ground. And the second gadget I like to use is a grip strengthener. This is a simple little piece of hardware and you can get them on Amazon really cheap. They're like 10 bucks for a good one. The one I have has these adjustments on the handle, so you can loosen the handle and lengthen the bar. And the bar is actually marked with numbers identifying the amount of resistance. So what you do is you set your resistance and then just squeeze. And you can do this anywhere. You can do it during your commute to work, while you're sitting at work, while you're watching TV. It's really versatile and convenient, so I highly recommend these because they're cheap and totally worth it, in my opinion. Now I can show you a bunch of pushing exercises to build grip strength. To start things off, the kneeling fist push-ups. So start off kneeling, get into a push-up position, but then, instead of doing flat hands, get on your knuckles. Now just lean your weight forward and perform push-ups on your knuckles. And what this does, by using a fist instead of flat pronated hands, you're going to increase the amount of resistance on your forearms and wrists. You can also switch up the hand placement doing pronated, like I'm doing here, with the backs of your hands facing in front of you, and you can rotate and do neutral grip with your palms facing each other. Each way is good, so make sure you switch it up. As you build the grip strength in the kneeling position, you can then advance this to the next pushing exercise for grip, which is normal fist push-ups on your toes. This is really the same as doing the kneeling fist push-ups, except by doing them on your toes, you're increasing the resistance and making the exercise more challenging to build more grip strength. Once those start to get easy, you're ready for exercise number five. Stand directly in front of a wall with arms fully extended and fingers extended. Touch the wall, and then you want to maintain a grip with your fingers extended like I'm doing here. Perform push-ups with your fingers spread to do incline fingertip push-ups. This will really start to build strength, not just in the wrists and forearms, but it also really hits the muscles in the hands and the fingers, which surprisingly makes a big difference for your grip strength. And once this starts to get easy, move to a lower incline using a couch or ottoman or coffee table. Once the lower incline surface gets easy for the fingertip push-ups, then you're ready to bring them down to the floor for exercise number six. And this is really the same as what we've been doing on the wall and the incline surface, but now you're just gonna be up on your toes in a plank position, performing normal push-ups, but on your fingertips. This really is a lot more challenging than it looks, so if you haven't been working on your grip strength specifically, then you wanna take this slow. Don't progress too fast, because you could injure your wrists or fingers if you take this too fast. This is where I'm currently at in my grip strength journey in terms of pushing exercises, but there is another progression I've seen, and that is single arm fingertip planks and push-ups, which, as you can see, I'm not quite ready for. But that's exercise number seven for those of you who are ready to take the next step. For me personally, it's gonna take a little more work. 
Then exercise number eight in the list is the frog stand hold. This is another pushing exercise because although it's a static hold, you are pressing into the ground to hold this position with your knees tucked up on your elbows. I have an entire frog stand hold tutorial for those of you who can't do it yet. Make sure you check out that video. I explain in detail how to hold this position and it is great for building up the wrists and forearms. And of course, this is a lead up to the handstand. So once you have the frog stand down for 20 seconds or so, time to start working on your handstand, exercise number nine. And what I love about the handstand is although it's a full body exercise, you are really using the muscles in your hands and fingers to fine tune your balance. So the handstand is actually a really unique exercise because it not only builds strength for grip, but it also teaches you how to make fine adjustments with your fingers and hands for hand balancing and it's a full body exercise. And now for those of you with pull up bars, here are some pulling exercises for grip strength. But just a warning for the next two exercises, you will need a pull up bar that's high enough that you can hang from it in a dead hang without having your feet touch the floor. So make sure your pull up bar is pretty high. For exercise number 10, you'll wanna jump up to the pull up bar and hang. And that's literally all you do, is just get into a dead hang and hang there for as long as you can. After a while, you'll start to feel the burn in your forearms. And what I do is when I really start feeling the burn, I then activate the hang. Basically, I depress and retract my scapula, that's my shoulder blades. I squeeze them together and down. And what that does is it takes some of the load off of the wrists and forearms. This allows me to extend the hang for even longer. And once you build this up to about a minute or more in your standard hang, you're ready for exercise 11 in this list, which is the one arm hang. You simply hang, lean to one side, and then let go with one arm. But make sure you're activating the muscles around your shoulder blades, all right? You wanna be depressing your scapula while you do this hang. If you hang in a dead hang while you're doing it one arm, I do think you increase your risk of injury. So make sure you are activating those muscles around your shoulder blades. Also, of course, this is unilateral, so jump back up and then make sure you do the other side. Just lean to the other side, let go with the opposite hand, and try to match the same amount of time that you held the first side for. Now, while these two hanging exercises really focus on the forearms and wrists, there is a hanging exercise that focuses more on the hands and fingers, and that is the towel hang. What you want to do is wrap your sweat towel around a low pull-up bar. This should be a bar that you can reach while you're standing flat on the floor. And you're basically going to just grab the towel and try to hang from it. But as you can see, uh, my wrists and forearms were shot. I should not have saved this for the last exercise in the video because I could only get a few seconds per hang. And of course, you could use a rope instead of a towel if you have one. And you can progress this further by working on towel pull-ups and one-arm towel hangs, but I am definitely not there yet. I still have a ways to go on the towel hang before I'm ready to advance. So there you go, you've got 12 options now. Just pick two of them, maybe three max, and incorporate them into your routine to build your grip strength. And I'm gonna go ahead and work more on my grip strength while I finish this video and get it uploaded for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please, if you found this helpful, that really helps me out. And I will see you in the next video.